In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the Mars Pro wireless speaker by Gravastar. Check it out. So this isn't the typical product that I'd actually cover on my channel, but when Gravastar reached out to me about having a look at this thing, I saw it and I just instantly said yes. I'm personally a big fan of this whole spacey robot damaged theme that this thing has going on. It's very gamery or gamerified. And to be honest, I wasn't really expecting much from this thing. And also from the images and the promo stuff that they'd sent me to actually have a look at this thing, I actually expected this thing to be really small, but it's not. It's pretty big. In addition to me expecting this thing to be really small, I also expected the audio to be, well, terrible, but I can honestly say I've been pleasantly surprised. So let's get into it and see what this thing actually is and what it does. And before we do get started, I just want to point out that today's video is sponsored by Gravastar. And although the video is sponsored, everything you see and hear in the video are my own personal thoughts and opinions. Gravastar have paid for this airtime and they haven't paid for my review. So this is the Mars Pro wireless Bluetooth speaker. It's created by a company called Gravastar and they create a range of different products, including these speakers, some earbuds and things like phone cases. And if you couldn't already guess, they specialize in creating these kind of technology and bits that all have this same spacey, futuristic theme to them. The theme and design for Gravastar's products are definitely more catered towards a specific audience. And I doubt it'd be something that you'd expect to see on your granny's shelf, or maybe you would. As well as targeting a specific audience, these speakers also carry a high price tag and I think it puts them at that level that you'd expect to pay for a premium Bluetooth speaker. Partly, I think some of the cost comes from the design and the actual handcraft of these speakers, as well as the materials that are used, but we'll come back to this in a little bit. You can pick the Mars Pro up in a range of different colours and designs, and some of them also have little magnetic attachments and accessories that you can add to them in order to change the overall appearance of the design. For the purposes of this review, Gravastar kindly sent me two models. I got this lovely war damaged yellow one, which is definitely my favourite, and I also got the Mars Pro white. To get the most out of these speakers, you're definitely going to need more than one, but again, we'll come back to that in just a sec. Physically, the internals of all of the speakers are all the exact same. They all compact with a dual bass speaker system that features a bass radiator, a 2.5 inch full range speaker and a singular 1 inch high frequency tweeter that has a maximum output of 20 watts. The only real difference between any of the speakers are just the overall design and finish. My favourite thing about the War Damage Yellow one is the fact that it's handmade, so all of the markings are all hand painted and this actually makes each speaker technically unique. For me, I personally do really like the design of the War Damage Yellow one, and the white one is just too plain and boring for me, but it's good that there is a bit of contrast between them and you can pick one that suits your environment. The speakers themselves are pretty weighty and they weigh just over £5. The entire body of the speaker is made out of a zinc alloy and there's just little bits of plastic around the LED, and it's this metal feel that adds to the actual premium feel of it and, you know, it doesn't feel cheap and plasticky. Moving on then, let's have a look at what you get in the box. The box itself is actually pretty cool and it looks like it's actually made out of metal. Inside of the box, the top layer of polystyrene's also got the Gravastar logo pressed into it, which again is pretty cool for packaging. Inside the box, you'll find the speaker unit itself as well as a couple of cables. You'll find a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging and a USB-C to AUX connection cable, which will allow you to connect other devices to the speakers. The final thing you'll find in the box is just a little instructions manual and this will just give you a couple of tips on how to connect the speakers. On the top of the speaker you'll find three buttons, one to control the LEDs, one to control the power and also stop the music, and one to control the Bluetooth. On the top center you'll also find a grey stripe and this acts as a touch control for the volume. To adjust the volume all you do is simply swipe your finger up and down and you'll also see some handy LEDs that show you the volume level. On the base of the speaker you'll find three adjustable legs. The legs are only adjustable at one pivoted point and you can bend these either forwards or backwards to adjust the stance of the speaker. In between the adjustable legs you'll find a USB-C port which is used to charge the internal battery or to allow other devices to output to the speaker. The speaker houses an 8000 mAh lithium ion battery which Gravastar say will give you up to 15 hours of playback time. On the front and back you'll find the main speaker outputs and around the body you'll find 6 RGB lights. So those are some of the specs and what it looks like. It's then pretty much just a normal Bluetooth speaker. You pair it with the device and then as you'd expect, you can play music on it. 
When you turn the speaker on, the robotic design truly comes to life. The use of those LEDs makes it stand out and really does add to that eye candy. As well as just being a Bluetooth 5 speaker, the speaker's main feature is its ability to use true wireless stereo, and this allows you to pair two speakers together to get a more immersive and more powerful sound. Pairing the speakers is super simple, and it's all done by making use of the buttons on the top. Once they are paired, the music and volume levels will automatically sync between the two, and whenever you turn them both on, they'll just automatically remember and connect. When you turn one of the speakers on, you'll be greeted with a noise that sounds like it's out of a Transformers film. And if you have two of them and they're both paired, you'll also hear a little notification message just so you know that they're connected together. Network, network connected. connected. And here's some B-roll just so you can see how cool this thing looks. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so looking good is one thing, but actually functioning well and sounding good is another. So how well does this thing actually perform? Well, surprisingly, actually really well. And I mean, I was pleasantly surprised. I was really expecting it to just be really weak or a bit tinny, but it's got a really full sound. And although the bass isn't super powerful, for what you get in in this small form factor, it does pack a punch. And for just using one of them, you do get that room filling audio but definitely making use of two of them is where the true power comes from. I don't have any super fancy microphones for actually being able to present the audio to you in a way that you can actually hear how nice it sounds, but believe me, it does sound good and the speaker is very loud. In my testing, I've been making use of the speakers outside and the volume and the range on them is more than enough. I can definitely see myself making use of these in parties, but I would advise if you do take them outside, don't leave them out because they're not waterproof. Price wise for the speakers you're looking at just under $230 for the base model, then for the handcrafted model like the war damage yellow one you're looking at just under $330. In UK money that's about £170 for the base model and about £250 for the more expensive one. I don't really know what else to say about the speakers other than the fact they do what they say they do. And this kind of leads me on to what's not so good about them and where I think Gravastar have really missed a trick. If you compare the cost of these speakers against some speakers from some well-known manufacturers like Sonos, then you'll see that the Gravastar speakers are missing out on one key feature, and that feature is Wi-Fi. A lot of other battery-powered speakers in this price range feature Wi-Fi, and for me, having Wi-Fi is a must. It would allow me to cast more things to it, and it would also allow me to directly integrate it into my smart home. Now, this isn't gonna be a feature for everybody, and most people would just be happy with Bluetooth, but again, for me, it's a must. The other thing that I think they've really missed out on is having an app for the speaker. If they had an app for the speaker, you'd be able to control all the individual settings for the speaker, like the equalization settings, the volume controls, and all of the other minute speaker settings you can adjust. And this would all be stored on the speaker, so whenever you connected another device to it, it would just remember those settings that you've hard set on the speaker. Some other settings that you could have in the app for the speaker would be the ability to actually adjust the LEDs, Currently with the LEDs, you can either just have them flash through in a sequence or you can have them as one set color. If you had an app, you could actually manually choose the color or you could apply more effects to it. Another setting that you could have in the app is the ability to turn off or even change the sound effects for when the speaker turns on or it turns off. The spacey transformery sound sounds really cool, but if you've had the volume turned up really loud or you just forget, when you next turn it on or off, you're gonna be greeted with a big loud sound effect. And Gravastar, if you are watching and you are thinking of adding Wi-Fi and an app, why not go whole hog and give this thing a microphone and then give it some Amazon Echo compatibility and also Google Home. And yeah, that might be totally way off what Gravastar are planning or thinking in terms of their product, but it'd be something that I'd like to see and it'd be something that I'd want if I was to purchase this product. Okay, moving away from that whole app and Wi-Fi talk, if I could add one other feature to the speaker, it'd be the ability to have more joints in the legs this would just allow you to place it better and also angle it a bit more. And if you could actually freely twist the head and move that around a bit more, that'd also be good. Overall, the Mars Pro is a great little speaker and it really does pack a punch. If its feature set and design are appealing to you, then I would recommend it. 
For me personally, not having Wi-Fi is a big turn off. But Gravastar, if you are watching and you are planning a Wi-Fi version, then give me a shout. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this speaker and if Wi-Fi is a must for you. But there we go guys, that's been a quick look at the Mars Pro by Gravastar. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to drop me a like and if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell, you'll then be alerted to any future video that I do. And as always, a massive thank you to these awesome dudes. These awesome dudes are my Patreons. If you're interested in helping support my channel, which in turn allows me to create content like this, then you'll find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.